Hello again, friends. Joe here once again to look at some more characters because it's the because it is the end of the month, and we didn't really tease anyone in the current event. So maybe we'll get Elia. Maybe we'll get uh, what's the other dude's the dude's name? I don't remember. Inca, Icas, or something like that. Maybe we'll get what Elsine. I think her name was. I hope not. I didn't like her, but. That's the top of the hour, so that should be new banner time. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, she's also in wind, so she can work alongside uh, Uasis and her new FLB. And Jamil, okay. SSR Jamil, okay. I think yeah, that's another. That's another new. Uh, promotion. He only has SRs, I think. Does he have an hour? I think it's SRs that he has. But anyway, <clears throat> let's take a wee look at these weapons first. So, L is a weapon. Hit attack and defense on Ogi. Big crit, small multi attack. That's whatever. Jamil's weapon. Echo is on Ogi. Presumably only to MC though. Big C damage and preemptive. Uh, also, whatever. Alright. Let's take a look at Elia. Elia. Uh, short stack Erun. Is she, uh, she seems she seems pretty short to me compared to other Erun's. But anyway, her Ogi is a massive wind damage to a foe. Activate heads will roll. One turn cut to Elias skill cooldowns. Heads will roll is... Ooh, nice. That activates on Ogis. That's already possibly a nice OTK character because four hit wind damage to foe and stackable attack and defense down. Chivalrous Blade activates twice. Inspiring Justice delay effect. So she's going to be a stance character similar to, to Uasis? And if so, if she starts in this mode, and this activates on Ogi, then she's going to be a very good OTK character for wind. Skill 2, 30% boost to wind allies charge bars. Whole team, that's nice. Chivalrous Bright boosts the Apex one time. Inspiring Justice boosts to charge bar gain. Oh, okay, there's... So... Maybe we'll see what this is all about in her passives, but she doesn't seem to be a... a stance character because... this doesn't... none of her skills... do that. But, see a reactivation to a wind eye, well, that's, that's cool. Oh no, decent is cooldown as well. When... Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, what? Wait, when? Yes, okay. When first or third ally supplement wind ally CA damage, amplify damage against earth foes, and then when second or fourth ally 10% boost to wind allies charge bars at the end of turn. Okay. So you need her in first or third. I think that works pretty well with Uasis as well, because I think you got Uasis's second mode, Heaven's Bane, I think it's called. You want her in, I think it's. Uh, second or fourth spot. That's her like more damage focused uh, stance. And I feel like you're probably going to want Elia in her in this mode. Because honestly, like delay delay is always nice for sure, but whatever. And then boost to charge bar again. Unless this is a lot. I'd rather take the specs and have this activate twice, especially if you're using her as a, an OTK character as well. Yeah. She seems like a really good OTK character, honestly. Put her in a, uh, in third spot. Obviously you can't put her in first if you're using MC. Put her in third spot. This will presumably activate twice when you Ogi, so that's a lot of OTK damage, and if you still need more damage, in OTK, like you, she has a, a CA reactivation to presumably anyone 
Like, if she could give it to herself, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to specify that she can't give it to herself. I think if she couldn't give it to herself, they should be worded in such a way as to be like an, like any other wind ally or something. This just says a wind ally, so give it to herself and then get four, <laughs> four of these. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, part, pretty simple character. This, don't know, obviously don't know what the numbers on this are. Maybe it's... Does this work similar to the other ones, like um, like Izmir and uh, Summer Shiva, where you can replace your Seraphic in the grid if you're using her? That would be cool. But uh, yeah, honestly, like her second mode, this seems kind of whatever. I mean, it might it's it probably this probably works really well in like longer fights if you're using Kengo in wind because you get. Charge bar at the end of turn. Boost the charge bar gain on this, as well as a bunch of, obviously, massive amount of charge bar and charge bar gain from Kengo. And like if it, if this is affected by charge bar gain as well, then that was, this will end up being a lot more than ten percent at the end of the turn. So that has, this could be pretty decent in longer fights if you're using Kengo or something like that, because you know everything is Kengo now because of how good Kengo is again because of uh, the master level stuff but uh, this one seems good for just pure damage and seems especially good for OTK like she seems like a really 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 good OTD OTK character just purely because this is probably gonna hit pretty hard if you're using area beaks this is probably two to three million I would assume per cast and act, so you Ogi, get your normal Ogi damage and then have a bunch of extra damage from this activating twice. So yeah, she seems pretty good. And uh, nice art. <laughs> but let's check out Jamil. Massive earth damage to a foe and cooldown for exclusion, which is his skill one. 800% earth damage to a foe, random debuff. Upon each cast, boost damage specs, number of debuffs increases max 3. Those debuffs are... I mean, I've said it before, the multi-attack debuffs are really good in like the end game fights, like, uh, you know, Beelzebub, Fastland and whatnot. But outside of that context, they're kind of whatever. So... Maybe he'll be pretty good for, for those fights. Earth damage to a full hit to debuff resistance stackable and hit to accuracy. Fair enough. Dodge all attacks from foes two times. Okay. Low defense to deal multi attacks, boost the charge bar gain into hiding effect. I don't remember what that does. I think one of Silva's versions has that as well. I mean, I'm actually gonna quickly check to see if I can find out what that is. Is it her light version that has it? I feel like I've heard, I've seen this before. I don't remember, I definitely feel like I've seen this before, but I don't remember where from. So we'll just skip over that. 20% uh, boost to charge bar at the end of turn if Jamil didn't take damage. Um, okay. No, um, don't know if I'm feeling it to be honest. Like I said, this could be this could be nice for harder fights, but um This is fine. And obviously dodge roll is fine, but like low defense the uh deal multi tags means guaranteed doubles, not triples. Don't know what like the charge bar game boost is and um again, not sure what this is, so honestly hard to say, like initial impressions are not super Super impressed, to be honest. Like, I wonder if does this is this affected by this charge war game? Because that would be pretty cool if this ended up being like maybe like thirty percent at the end of the turn. But honestly, like I, I'm not sure what to think about him. To be honest, can I just search into hiding on to on the wiki? Okay, R <laughs> Vakala has into hiding effect on her. Uh, 
as her passive, which means that she... Okay, so in so in into hiding, assuming it works the same way as it does on on uh, R Vicala, means that he won't be targeted by a single target attacks if there's another target available. So basically, like I've not I've not really used R Vicala outside of the backline. So I'm assuming that basically means he can only be hit by AOEs. Maybe. I'm a, I'm a, if I'm Interpreting that right, that actually seems pretty good. In a lot of fights, that just means that basically only like boss Okies will hit him. Because outside of some stuff here and there, um, I'm trying to think, water bosses like like Wamdis, for example, her autos hit a bunch of times against a bunch of characters, but I think they're all considered like individual single hits. So presumably that means that stuff like that just straight up won't hit him. And that would also be true for stuff like, you know, like Beelzebub, Belial, Fasa and Autos as well. It would basically mean he can only be hit by either AoE Autos. So I can't think of any like water fights that you, or fights that you bring Earth to to have them off the top of my head or... Or Ogi, or boss Ogis that are AOE. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm misinterpreting that. Maybe that's not quite how that works. But honestly, I hope it is because otherwise he doesn't seem that great. Like he, if that is how it works, and it basically means he can just not get hit very often and just get a bunch of damage, dodge a bunch of attacks. But honestly, I'm not super. I'm not feeling them to be honest. Like like I said, these are fine for endgame fights, but I think there's other characters, especially especially in Earth, that you would much rather bring to to endgame fights. Like, if you have you know, Christmas Anthuria or Earth Satyr, or like ULB Octo, or even like Valentine's Monica, like she's been seeing a lot of use now because of ULB Octo and Kengo. Like, I don't see him really having a spot in teams like that. Like he seems he seems pretty middling to me. Which you know, alongside Jin and Herha SSR upgrades in Earth seem to be pretty weak generally, so yeah, um I mean it's it's late. It's like four AM so I'm probably not thinking super straight, but my maybe I'm completely wrong, but my initial impression of of your boy Jamil is not super strong. So, hmm. Elia looks pretty cool though, so that's that's nice. One out of two. But, uh, thank you for watching. And until next time, which is June, that, we might be, does that mean, I, are we getting summer characters next? I can't remember if, I, I don't remember, summer characters start in June, don't they? So that'll be, so June Flash Fest means we'll be getting some summer characters for the next few months, couple of months afterwards, until the end of August. So that'll be cool. Uh, so yeah, until then, thanks for watching. Peace out. Cheer you bye. See you later. I never know how to end these things. <laughs>